Hello! Thank you for watching Estuary Lives. I'm happy to be here uh, with you today. Uh, we're going to talk about weather radios. All of you by now should be familiar with the terms watches and warnings, uh, two things that us here at the Weather Service Office issue. Um, and one way of receiving those is through our weather radio console. What happens is once the forecasters issue a warning, it goes through the computers into this computer where it is translated by a computer voice and then sent over to this computer, which if I turn it on here, wave height two to three feet. Friday and Friday night, hear northwest winds ten to fifteen knots. The voice of a computer. One to two feet. All the voices Sunday, that we have, we have boy and girl computer uh, generated voices, which will read the watches and warnings. It'll go through a phone line from here and out to some transmitters uh, and where it can get picked up by anyone who has a weather radio. This is our AWIPS uh, computer system, which is the uh, backbone of our forecasting and warning ability here at the National Weather Service office. And uh, we have five workstations like this in the office that are all tied into a mainframe system back in our main computer room. And what this allows us to do is at one workstation be able to look, view all our weather data. We uh, used to be up until eight years ago that we got this system, we used to have to go to one computer console to look at satellite data, another console to look at uh, radar data, uh, and maybe another console to look at surface or upper air data. And now we can do this all at one workstation, much more efficient for us. Uh, we, can, uh, we have three uh, video screens or graphic screens and one text screen uh, so we can get all our information in one place. And uh, so I'm looking here at a surface map and uh, seeing what the surface weather pattern is. And uh, just by uh, toggling some of these windows, I can look at different things. This is a radar map. And this is actually the tool called uh, WarnGen that uh, we use to produce the uh, warnings uh, that would go out you would see on the TV scroll or on the weather radio with an alarm. And uh, so I'm tracking this storm here and I can put a loop on that. And if I see it looks like severe, then I can uh, click the button on this screen and have it redo the box. And it'll track where I think that storm is going to go and put out a warning for that county. Here is an example of what we call a weather radio. Uh, we're not talking about the standard radio that you might listen to music to in your home. Um, this one is made specifically to receive the transmissions that we have here from our uh, weather radio. Um, it'll play warnings and watches and it'll alert you um, whenever we issue uh, certain severe storm warnings. Um, and here's an example of the alert. That's an example of an alarm um, that hopefully would wake you up in the middle of the night or alert you during the day that something uh, dangerous, be it severe weather or some kind of civil emergency, has uh, affected your area. Um, I hope you've all learned a little bit more about weather radios, and thank you for joining us here on Estuary Lives.